And during this time of year, several illnesses on the rise, including colds, the flu, and RSV. RSV can be deadly in both babies and elderly adults. According to the Centers for Disease Control, between 58,000 and 80,000 children younger than five are hospitalized every year with RSV. News 19's Deidre Briscoe talked with hospital officials in a local daycare who say they've already been seeing severely affected people by the virus. This year has been, it's been the earliest that I've seen it and has absolutely been the worst of uh, season of RSV. Respiratory syncytial virus or RSV is particularly dangerous to young children and older adults and health experts say it is on the rise. Max Tunsil is a nurse practitioner at Athens Limestone Hospital. He says RSV is spread through close contact with one another and that numbers have risen quickly in the last month. RSV, our positivity rate since the 1st of October um, to current date is 9%, which is up from what it has been. Um, we've also seen an increase in ER visits um, with Everybody ranging from, you know, small kids up to older adults that are coming in with RSV. For someone that is, you know, really young or that is on the upper end of the age range can experience some more difficult symptoms. Tender Care Learning Center, a daycare center in Athens, has been severely affected by RSV, having to shut down due to too many kids falling sick. Three or four kids out and then those would come back and then we'd have three or four more out again. Uh, at one point of the 12 babies we had at Tender Care, I think all of them just about were out. Every single one of them got RSV at some point. Um, and at the point where we had um, like 50% of the babies out, we decided to shut down. Officials with the hospital say there are some steps you can take to help your children if they get sick. Um, you can use humidifiers to, to help moisten the air that could help with their breathing issues. But I do recommend if you do have, you know, breathing issues or you can like hear them breathing or they're having struggle, struggles to breathe that you would bring them to the emergency room. The daycare says they have taken extra measures to clean their facility and to wash the children's hands more often. The hospital suggests that if adults have RSV symptoms to avoid taking their children to school as they may be carrying the virus. Reporting in Limestone County, Deidre Briscoe, News 19. And earlier this month, the CDC announced there is a limited supply of the antibody treatment that helps protect, protect infants from RSV. So if you want to protect your child, make sure to check with availability with your provider.